Hello guys. So far in the chapter DC power supplies we have learned about block diagram of regulated power supply a brief intro about each of the block rectifier and their types then we have learned about ripple ripple factor and introduction of filter in case if you miss these lectures the links are available in the description today we will learn one of the type of filter that is capacitor input filter so what is capacitor input filter in this type of filter capacitor c is connected in shunt with load resistor rl that is c is connected in parallel to rl here is the circuit diagram the input from rectifier that means the output of rectifier is provided as input to the capacitor input filter and then this filter is used to filter out the ac component now how this filter is used to filter out the ac component now as we know that the capacitor works only in ac that means capacitor blocks the dc so whenever there was a dc at the output of rectifier it directly pass to load register because in dc mode capacitor act as open circuit that means the all the current all the dc current will pass through load register and the capacitor provide lower impedance to the ac component as compared to load register and current has a property to follow the path where there was a minimum resistance and this capacitor provides minimum resistance and hence the maximum amount of ac components are grounded through the capacitor and very low amount of ripple is passed through load register this is how the capacitor input filter works capacitor act as open circuit for dc therefore dc passes through load capacitor provides low reactance path to the ac component of current and hence ac gate bypass to the ground only small amount of ac passes through load producing a small ripple voltage that is capacitor increases the dc voltage and decreases the ripple voltage components of the output now this is what the principle of capacitor input filter now let's see how it works when the rectified output is increasing the capacitor charges to the peak voltage vp when the rectifier voltage is slightly less than vp the capacitor starts to discharge through the load this prevents the load voltage from falling to zero now let's see what is this here is the output of rectifier a pulsating dc now during this transient period when the rectifier output is increasing when the rectifier output is increasing during this transient period the capacitor is charging at this point this is our vp peak voltage at this point the capacitor is fully charged and the moment the output of the rectifier is slightly less than this vp that means in this region the capacitor starts to discharge and it will discharge until it will again reaches to vp the capacitor discharge until the rectifier voltage becomes more than the capacitor voltage now what happens during the increasing time of the rectifier voltage the capacitor is charging when the it reaches to vp the capacitor is fully charged now the moment the output of rectifier is slightly less than vp the voltage uh, the this, uh, capacitor starts discharging now in this manner we will able to get the output waveform from the filter now during the charging period it is charging 
now at vp it gives the it is at p now the moment the vp is slight uh, sorry the rectifier output is slightly less than the vp capacitor discharging now during this time the capacitor is discharging the moment again it reaches to vp or it is more than the capacitor voltage the capacitor is started charging and it provides constant so in this manner when it is discharging when the rectifier output is decreasing the capacitor is discharging and when the rectifier output is increasing the capacitor is charging so this charging discharging procedure makes a stable output look at here this is our actual output of rectifier and this black line is the output from filter which is more smoother as compared to the pulsating dc this is the rectified output this dash dash lines and this solid line is the filter output the capacitor again charges to the peak voltage vp in this manner the current is maintained through the load all the time for getting steadier output voltage rl for sorry for getting steadier output voltage rl should be larger than c so that the value of load current is smaller and the capacitor does not discharge very much if rl is much greater than the capacitor then very small amount of current will pass through here and the capacitor will not discharge very soon that's all about today's lecture in next lecture we will learn about inductor filter and rc filter thank you